tampon dispenser installed in high school boys bathroom destroyed less than 20 minutes after installation leave a like on the video for these based based individuals the principal has had an absolute meltdown local woke media is having an absolute meltdown because why shouldn't you have tampons available to third graders that's the law apparently in this state now and i couldn't understand it less of course there is hope for the future as more people continue to stand up against this woke nonsense we get awesome stories like this and we're going to get into all that after a super quick word from this video sponsor private internet access huge shout out to this video sponsor private internet access look in current year everyone basically has to have a vpn it's a extremely versatile and now basically required tool of browsing the modern internet and that's why i'm happy to be partnered with private internet access and have been for over a year now it's a vpn i use it's a vpn i recommend to my friends and family and i have a massive discount for my viewers in short a vpn allows you to change the location that you may be seen as browsing the internet from this helps you unlock television shows and movies that might not be available in your area. It allows you to browse the internet anonymously. Heck, even right now, we just saw several countries, for example, Google and Meta are now blocking news in Canada. And well, how are you gonna get your news? Well, you could change your location. VPN helps protect your privacy, secure your data, and bypass network blocks. It comes in extremely important all the time, that's why I have it on my computers, laptops, and mobile phones. Private Internet Access is an open source app with no usage logs, unlimited bandwidth, high-speed global server network, dedicated apps, powerful encryption, and 24-7 live support. Unlock the power of the internet and stay censorship-free by using my link in the description below and get yourself... If you don't have a VPN yet, make sure you take advantage of my massive discount down below. PIA is the VPN I use on all of my devices. Yep, it took less than 20 minutes, this is via redstate.com, for a tampon dispenser in a boy's restroom at a Connecticut high school to be ripped off of the wall and tampons scattered all over the floor. Was it an act of defiance against woke insanity or a meaningless prank? It's hard to say, but let's see if we can figure it out. I actually think it was absolutely a based individual that wasn't going to have it. The tampon dispenser on January 24th was installed on January 24th in response to an upcoming new state law. According to Connecticut Insider, a student or students was were subsequently disciplined, according to the student's principal. By the way, if that student was facing any kind of financial fine, let me know about it. All right. I'll get a GoFundMe up for you for immediately. I just build a fund to pay all the tickets for smashing the tampon dispensers in boys' bathrooms worldwide. Anyway, I digress. Um, <clears throat> the principal called it an egregious instance of vandalism and destruction of property. Perhaps the perpetrator or perpetrators thought installing a menstrual products dispenser in a boys' bathroom was an egregious instance of woke insanity. Just saying. So here's part of an email sent the same day to the school staff and students from their woke, insane principal. See if you can figure out where this guy's coming from. Brookfield High Principal Mark Balanda sent an email on the same day to the school staff and students titled, I'm feeling dis dash right now and saying that he was disgusted and dismayed by the behavior. A dispenser with menstrual products was installed in the boys' bathroom near the main office, Belando said in the email. Quote, the installation was completed at 9.30 a.m. By 9.52 a.m., tampons were on the floor. The newly installed distribution box was ripped off the wall along with the masonry anchors. And the distribution box itself was destroyed. Destroyed. Based. Based. Hey. The summer of love was all about fighting the power, right? Based. Leave a like on this video right now. You know that kid's going to see this video. Oh, the humanity. Belana said students shouldn't resort to vandalism when they don't understand something. What is there to understand exactly? Why you need to push transgenderism on teenage boys. Remember, they do not reproduce. They only recruit. Quote, 
Ask for more information. Use your words to start a dialogue rather than using your hands to destroy my precious tampon dispenser in the boys' bathroom. I mean, what is the state of this world? I, I don't even understand what... I mean, this is a, a principle, right? This is the principle. This is the principle. And this is what they're worried about. I wonder what the same principle would say if uh, about the summer of love. I wonder. Oh, the humanity. Belanda said shouldn't, shouldn't resort to vandalism. In this particular instance, the principal went on, you have questions, please let me know. You have a question. Why are you forcing tampons on teen boys? What's to understand that makes biological sense, I mean. The aforementioned new state law goes into effect on September 1st, 2024. It reads in part, quote, on and after September 1st, 2024, each local and, local and regional board of education shall provide free menstrual products as defined in section 18-69, giggity, in women's restrooms, fine, all gender bathrooms, also fine, and in at least one men's restroom, not fine. No reason for it. Which restrooms are accessible to students in grades 3 through 12? Tell me what a third grader needs. Inclusive in each school under jurisdiction of such boards and in a manner that does not stigmatize any student seeking these products. Raise your hand if you're aware of a third grade boy in need of menstrual products or any boy or man. In the most hilarious line of Bolanda's email, he said the acts of vandalism and destruction of the property were the work of immature boys, not men. Um, Principal Bolanda, men don't menstruate. The reaction from Brookfield School Superintendent John Burrile was just as delusional as Bolanda. He said in part, Brookfield High School is approaching this matter from a restorative perspective. And that they are providing both education on the issue and working to remediate the issue with students. What do you mean? Why on earth is there a tampon machine in the boys' bathroom in the first place? Finally, Brookfield Board of Education Chair Wendy Youngblood's response was classic woke, saying, If the person who destroyed the tampon dispenser, quote, wants to make a point about some aspect of life at school, this is not an effective way of doing it. I actually argue that it's extremely based and extremely effective. If every tampon dispenser that gets put up in a boys' room for the all of eternity gets ripped off the wall, I pretty, I'm pretty sure that's effective. Are you going to put an armed guard in there to protect it? Is that what you're going to do? You're going to spend taxpayers' money to protect the tampon machine in third grade boys' bathroom? Most importantly, it overruns the law and the rights of some people who need tampons. Nobody's saying you can't put a tampon in the girls' room. The only people that need tampons, I know this is probably shocking, are girls. The article continues, one more time, boys do not need tampons. If having menstrual products in a boy's bathroom is confusing or unsettling for some of the school community, Youngblood said, there needs to be a civil, open, and constructive conversation. Is that what people are doing in the summer of love? No, there doesn't need to be any discussion. Th this is weird, woke nonsense with the sole purpose of confusing young boys. That is the only purpose for this. I mean, you want to go at companies, you think this is just, you know, in a few places, I assure you it's all over the place. Look at Rocket Mortgage, a giant mortgage company, puts tampons in men's bathrooms to promote menstrual equity. What? A tipster revealed to Stop Woke that Rocket Mortgage is putting tampons in men's restrooms as part of an initiative from the company's LGBTQI plus resource group perspectives. What we found through the tips are that Rocket Mortgage is providing tampons in the men's restroom across the company as part of this sort of far-left LGBT initiative from some sort of resource group. Rocket Mortgage originated over 400,000 loans in 2022 at about $127 billion. 
According to the StopWoke report, Rocket Mortgage, the nation's number one mortgage lender, partnered with Antflow, Antflow, a business that helps ensure offices, schools, and more have free feminine products. By the way, I actually 100% support even government paying to have these products available for women. I'm 100% fine with that. All right? I, I really am. Or, t- you know, tax-free breaks or whatever to make it free and available for any woman that might need it. 100%. I feel the same way about condoms. All right? Condoms should be free. They should not be, you know, you shouldn't have to pay for them. All right? I, I 100% support them being free and available just like tampons. I know it's not exactly the same thing, but you get what I mean. The idea that you would put the stuff in children's restrooms uh, is uh, insanity. But I'm happy to report that at least some school-aged people still know right from wrong and still are saying no to this endless, insane programming. Absolutely pathetic. Shout out to whoever did this sweet act of resistance.